Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you an easy way to install XC IPTV Live TV player to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole process is really easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. First of all, you have to get an app called the Loader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. Just go to search on your device, here it is. Open the search bar and start typing the Loader right here. As you can see, the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom, so there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app. We click on the loader, and that's the app which we need to get to our device. However, after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. And to set up the loader, we'll go to settings. So here they are, open them. Then scroll down and go to My Far TV. Open it. Here we'll have to enable developer options for your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast, so let's do it. And now as you can see for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, in here, find the loader and turn that option on for the loader. So what it does is going to allow us to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's go to the list of apps on our device. Here it is, open it. And there is the loader app, which we installed and set up to the Fire Stick. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, we got a great application for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may have. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to France right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online. And that's extremely important, if we wish to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but would like to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just get your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to send you to the best deal for NordVPN. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with the camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to send you to the best NordVPN deal. And now let's finally use the loader safely. So we open up the loader application, on the left side menu, make sure to click on home, that's important. And then here in that search bar, we'll have to enter a code, which is going to be 28907. So once again, the code is 28907, and then you have to click on go. Now we're waiting until the website is opening for us. Now the website has finally opened, we just need to scroll down a little bit until we see a list of categories. So here it is. And what we are looking for is the IPTV players category, so let's click on it. Now you'll see a lot of different apps, and just scroll down a bit, and here you'll find the XC IPTV player. That's exactly what we're looking for. So we click on it, and then a new web page is going to open, which you also have to scroll down. Then we just scroll the page until we see those download buttons right here. So we just need to click on download, but if for some reason the download button does not work for you, you can always use the backup download link, which is right here below the usual download button. Now let's click on download and let's see how it goes. Also, you might see an ad pop up here for you. If you see ad, make sure to click on close and do not click on open, because if you click on open, it's going to mess everything up for you. So we click on close. And now the download has started, if you have a slow internet, it might take quite a bit. There, you just click on install, and let's wait until the app gets installed to our Fire Stick. It might take a couple of moments. After that, do not click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way we'll be able to delete the unnecessary installation files from our Fire Stick. So we click on delete, then delete once again, and now we're good to go. So let's go to the list of apps, let's open it, then scroll down, and here at the bottom we will see the 
XC IPTV player, which we just installed to our Fire Stick. Now I would recommend you to click on the Options button on Yogi Mode. That's the button of three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way, XCAPTV is always going to be at the very top of your app list and it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Then once again, don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. And once again, you can use my link in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video to get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free. Then we open the app. And from here, it's pretty straightforward. If you are using extreme codes, then just here you enter your link, your username and password. However, if you have a usual M3U link, you just need to click on the settings button in the right bottom corner of the app, we click on it, and then switch to M3U URL. Then you would just enter the link here, click on sign in, and the live TV service would work for you. There are thousands of different live TV providers in the world, so it's completely up to you which one to choose. Just make sure to keep your European connected to be safe online. And that's it, see you next time, bye bye.